Airships have always been larger than even the biggest airplanes and stirred emotions in people. In the early 20th century, airships ruled the skies, connecting continents and making transatlantic flights. The history of their existence is full of challenges. Nowadays, thanks to new materials and technologies, and with a growing demand for eco-friendly solutions and cargo transport, airships are ready to amaze us once again. The Hindenburg is a symbol of luxury and tragedy. The Hindenburg appeared at the height of the era of airships. It was impressive in its size. Length 245 meters, volume over 200,000 cubic meters, load capacity over 100 tons. Cozy cabins, dining room with panoramic windows and smoking lounge made it look like a floating hotel. The tragedy of May 6, 1937, at Lakehurst, when the Hindenburg caught fire on landing, marked the end of the airship era. The cause of the disaster is still debated, but the most likely is a hydrogen leak that led to a flashover from static electricity. The tragedy claimed the lives of 36 people and dealt a serious blow to hydrogen's reputation as a safe filling gas. The Graf Zeppelin airship is a successful conqueror of the sky. The Graf Zeppelin is one of the greatest achievements of airship construction in the 20th century. With a length of 236 meters and a gas volume of more than 105,000 cubic meters, it had an impressive range and load capacity. This airship set many records for range and speed, demonstrating reliability even in difficult conditions. He gained particular popularity for his transatlantic flights and his round-the-world trip in 1929, during which he covered more than 34,000 kilometers. He visited Tokyo, San Francisco, and other cities. At the same time, passengers enjoyed unrivaled comfort throughout the flight. The Graf Zeppelin proved the possibility of regular intercontinental flights. Its success clearly demonstrated the long-term potential of airships, the USS Akron and USS Macon were American flying aircraft carriers. These huge rigid airships appeared in the first third of the 1930s. They embodied the ambitious American concept of airborne aircraft carriers. They were intended for long-range maritime reconnaissance and coastal protection and carried a squadron of fighters on board. Their main innovation was mobility and range. These airships could quickly deploy anywhere along the coast, providing air defense for the fleet. However, the era of the flying aircraft carrier was short-lived. Two accidents, unfortunately caused by severe bad weather and design flaws, tragically cost the lives of many sailors and ultimately brought the program to an end. Airship technology was indeed not yet mature enough to ensure the safety and security of such giant airships. Unfortunately, after the Macon, the idea of flying aircraft carriers was abandoned and the focus was on developing traditional ones. The L-59 is a long-lived airship. It appeared in the First World War. It proved itself not only as a bomber, but also as a means of reconnaissance and cargo delivery. It is best known for its Trans-African flight in November 1917, the purpose of which was to supply German troops in German East Africa. The flight set a long-distance record and demonstrated the potential of airships for long-distance transportation. The R-101 airship was a British giant that failed to take off. The R-101 airship was developed as part of the British Imperial Air Service program. It was intended to demonstrate Britain's technological superiority, to connect the remote corners of the empire, and was huge and luxurious, designed as an air palace. It was the largest airship of its time, promising previously unattainable range, speed, and comfort. They planned to use it for passenger flights to India and Australia, increasing travel speed and strengthening connections within the empire. However, in October 1930, during its first commercial flight, the R101 crashed in France, claiming the lives of 48 people. The investigation revealed a multitude of design flaws and several adverse weather conditions, which led to a critical state of the structure and marked the end of the era of British airships. There are modern titans as well. Big airships are making a comeback. The Airlander 10 is the largest airship of the 21st century, 
So far, the revival of interest in airships, once forgotten, began around the same time the Airlander 10 was introduced. It was developed by the British company Hybrid Air Vehicles for the U.S. Army. This giant is practically a hybrid of an airplane and an airship, inspiring a new generation of engineers. The Airlander 10 can take off and land vertically, which eliminates the need for airfields. It's much more economical than an airplane, and its potential applications include ecotourism, cargo transport, and scientific research. The future of the Airlander 10 looks promising, but the story isn't over yet. Projects to revive airships as an eco-friendly mode of transport are just getting started. We'll see many more giants in the sky. What are the prospects for large airships? New composite materials, lightweight advanced propulsion systems, and artificial intelligence control systems are enabling the creation of airships that far surpass their predecessors. Advanced aerodynamic shapes reduce drag, while solar panels provide an additional source of energy. Airships can play a key role in tackling global issues, starting with logistics, especially in remote areas. The investment prospects for new initiatives in this field are enormous. Designing and manufacturing large airships requires significant investment, but the potential benefits in reducing transportation costs and improving logistics justify the risks. This is an appealing direction for innovative investment companies looking for a sustainable future. We are inspired by the giants. Despite the tragic episodes in the past, airships remained a symbol of engineering prowess for almost a century. The Russian initiative New Generation Airships is inspired by this heritage. The construction of large-sized airships is one of the project's areas. But our goal is to rethink the concept of the airship. We see their future in the field of cargo transportation, scientific research, and tourism. We strive to demonstrate to the country and the world all the possibilities of modern aeronautics. We're open to collaboration. Your support, whether it's participating in development, investing, or spreading the word, will help us bring our ambitious eco-friendly ideas to life. Together, we can write a new chapter in the history of large airships. Learn more about us at the link in the video description. Noairships.com